I am satisfied that uh, uh, you are now looking at the new governor. Uh, Hi, I'm George C., and I'm Bill Clements' grandson, and we are gathered here today to recognize the 40th anniversary of his historical victory, uh, not landslide, squeaky close victory in the Texas gubernatorial race of 1978. I have publicly said that uh, we are in fact in a dead heat. I would further say that the momentum is with me. He upset the heavily favored Attorney General of Texas to win the office, and he was really the first true Republican ever elected to governor in the state of Texas, and we've had 80 people plus from all over the state of Texas come in to commemorate it, which is a real tribute to him and how much people thought of him. And he brought the real uh, can-do spirit back to the state, uh, fiscal responsibility. Um, he just told things like it was. I, I've never met a finer, stronger, more wise leader in my life than Bill Clements was. He had excellent judgment. He was, he was a relentless worker, a tireless worker. Does he work too much? Um, he's very conscientious, and he, he does uh, put in long hours working. But he works very hard when he works, but he can also turn it off and have a good time, which I think is extremely important. I think if you look at Bill Clements as a businessman, you have to tell the story of Sedco, which he started at age 31 with two used drilling rigs bought on credit. It was a shoestring operation that he basically worked 16 hours a day on for many years. And he grew that into the largest drilling company in the world by the time he sold it to Schlumberger in 1984. He was a great leader and I'll tell you why. He came from a business background. That was his first training. He knew the business world very well and he showed that at the Pentagon first when he brought in best practices from, from management. Um, and innovation to the Pentagon. Uh, we have the values in Texas. The Governor Clements was not a politician. He actually brought business ideas to the state that are still here today. Bill Clements was a Texian Republican. <laughs> and what I mean by that is he didn't really view himself as a political person. He viewed himself as a Texian. My roots are Texas roots. Now, I've said on many occasions that I'm Texan to my toenails. And the Texians were the first settlers that came to Texas in the 1830s seeking independence, a fresh start, freedom, liberty. They were fierce, they were tough, they didn't suffer fools lightly, they got stuff done. And that's how my grandfather got to Forney and that's how I got to Texas. He'll be a Republican in a home that some had thought was built for Democrats. He will be a Republican in a state capital that has not really ever entertained the thought of having a Republican governor before. And we recruited Democrat and Independent County Chairman. For the first time in 104 years, the Republicans had a chairman, either a Democrat, Independent, or Republican, all over Texas. He managed to work with a Democrat-controlled House and Senate. Uh, a Democrat judiciary and other statewide elected Democrats. I think Governor Cummins would be alarmed at what's going on in politics today. I mean, he was a true bipartisan leader when he was governor, and everything today is so fractured. Uh, red versus blue, there is no bipartisan discussions, and he truly excelled at that. I wonder how he would approach it now, but I think that somehow he would get it done. He was a Republican because he was conservative and he believed in limited government. A man for whom I have great respect and a warm personal regard, Bill Clements. But he was first and foremost for Texas. One of the great hallmarks of a good leader is the ability to build a good team, and he built one of the best teams. He surrounded himself with very, very capable people, and he accomplished the most you could humanly expect to accomplish while you were in a particular job or endeavor. And he had great persuasive power. He was able to go out and get leaders in business and law and banking and persuade them to come to Austin. Tonight in coming to this party, I pulled out my Scottish uh, plaid jacket because my, uh, Bill Clements, my grandfather, was infamous for wearing the ugliest plaid jackets you could ever imagine. And uh, I thought it only fitting to honor him by wearing a plaid jacket. So it's fun to get to wear this to honor him. Clements for Governor.